Welcome back to Life is Strange. So we finally just returned back to our original timeline. Let's take a look around and... I think the first thing I'm supposed to do, at least the first thing that Max wants me to do, is take a look at all the clues that we've gathered and... The Tabanga guess... is perhaps Arcadia Bay's oldest original totem. And I guess try to put some clues together. So let's see what we have. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. All right, so I can't to the garage. abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Well, before we go to the garage, let's take a look around. See if there's anything interesting here. That snow dough always makes me think of William and Chloe. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. All right. <laughs> From the Arcadia Bay Police Department to Chloe Price, Miss Price, this is Officer Anderson Berry. We have your content phone file here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they wanted to answer a few questions about the recent break-in at Blackwell Academy and the fact that your car was identified in the parking lot around the same time. Eh, just ignore it. It'll go away, right? This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Poor William. Despite controversy, no tribe has claimed has claimed ownership of the Tabanga. Nathan Prescott already tried. There's Chloe's cash stash. Sorry, Principal Wells. Yes, Chloe Price was here. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Ooh, photo. She didn't even turn around to see what that noise was. Sorry, Max, but this is really interesting. Plus, I love saying Tabanga. Tabanga. I hope the Tabanga does too. Tabanga. Tabanga. That is a nice word. Tabanga, Tabanga, Tabanga. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Finally? Did this just come out? Let's see what this is. The Prescott's Pan Estates. The Prescott's Pan Estates. Haven or Hell. The name Prescott may not mean much to you or to those outside the edges of a small coastal Oregon town, but this is a name that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay. 
A quaint town seemingly stuck in time. <laughs> stuck in time. <laughs> That's kind of ironic. Uh, once home to a prosperous fishing and tourism industry, the town has been has seen much better paydays. Despite the local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and its football and swimming teams, the Bigfoots and the Otters, environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life, resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. Oddly, the Prescotts have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they're behind an expensive, exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates, to be built into the deep forests near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filed various motions against the development, citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Good to see some bad news about the Prescotts. They certainly deserve it. That's my Chloe. The bad girl's guide to guns. Alright, let's go. I think I've already looked at this stuff before from the previous time I was in the house. So yeah, I don't think there's much reason to look at anything in here unless there's some photo opportunities. Doesn't seem so. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Hmm. Photo opportunity here, perhaps? I know there was one at the window. Wait, where did it go? Oh, was it the one at the top left that I already have? Huh, I guess so. This is going to be awkward. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just... better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Oh, Warren. Wait, where did this start? Right, so he's buying the tickets for the uh, the drive-in. That feels like so long ago. It's officially sold out. Managed to get us both tickets. Oh, it's him complaining about the B minus on his chem test. That's the test that I could have changed the grade on. How did this happen? I don't know. Who is this? Ouch! Warren the wounded. The B minus. It burns. I wish I could have helped you, but I thought you were blinded by science. In this case, yes, my folks will shit. Alright, I think the ones that are actually new are just is starting from this one. Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Wait, what? Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get to go ape with you. Unless you want to chill with Chloe. Or we could all go. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. Have to jet? Talk to you later. It feels like so long ago that I agreed to go to that movie. Is it actually going to happen? Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? 
It's so bizarre. Ouch. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. Jeez. My butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Max the Time Bandit strikes again. Yeah, when I first went to that other timeline, or when I first went to the, the time when I was able to try to save William, I sketched a butterfly there. William never finished painting that wall. Oh my god, this paint job is... left from when William was painting it? Oh god. That's so depressing. I would never want to ever paint this wall. I would never want to finish it. I would just think of him anytime I even... Oh god, I don't even want to think about it. This game is so depressing. It's so pretty, but it's so depressing. I mean, look, there's a fucking dead bird on the ground. There's dead birds everywhere. Everything is dead and dying. Whales, birds, William. Can I sit in the swing of depression again? I can't. Good. I don't want to. Alright, any photo opportunities I'm missing? Doesn't seem like it. There's a whale, windmill, mm, rocks, footprints. No, it doesn't seem like it. I think this all started with my vision of a tornado. While Arcadia Bay was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook on the Oregon coast, the town that time... the town that time forgot is, since the beginning of this week, in the literal eye of an environmental storm. Starting with a freak snowfall, an unprecedented eclipse, dying birds, and now a half dozen beached whales, Arcadia Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists. Apparently, including NASA. What's even more incredible than these eco-phenomena is the fact that not a single meteorologist has offered any actual theory, or even reason, for this atmospheric havoc. Yeah, I bet there's people that want to come here and study what's going on, because this is... What's been happening is so bizarre. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Am I helping? I... Don't even know at this point. Looks like David already booked a room. All right, to the garage. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I see some lockers over here. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Ooh. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me, just one picture, please. Seems like a seems like a really strange place for a nest. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. 
Max, you better put that plank back to protect the nest. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. <laughs> eggy wags. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Despite a rather heated discussion about the successful petition to block a campus surveillance system, I'm still interested in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell security. Must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. So they're still interested in his feedback. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see this suspension coming. <laughs> At least he has one weird fan. From Anonymous. Just want to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you, and the school has too many libtard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. Wow, okay. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge, and I thought about you protecting me. Hope you come back to Blackwell and make sure we're all safe at night. I'm scared of this school. What a fucking idiot. Libtard metrosexuals, really? Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. That's from David Madsen. To Raymond Wells. Apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset. There's a cancer at Blackwell Academy, and without me, it will continue to spread. Ooh. Well, this can help me get inside the locker, huh? Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. And then reverse time to undo the damage. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce? You know I'm not good at you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstep bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I'm truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner. And I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... And then he never finished it. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could, too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Probably David. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Hmm? I wonder if David is going to the party. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's get this thing open. Sorry, David, but... I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Jackpot. GPS coordinates. Does that say Twin Peaks up at the top left? <laughs> I 
Hmm, how far apart are these GPS coordinates? So, timestamps, and then and then the coordinates. So, timestamps of something. They're all very, very similar. Whatever it is isn't moving that much. Wait, he has a photo? Of Nathan beating up Warren? Well, that would have been good evidence, huh? Score. Back to Chloe now. Alright, let's undo me breaking it. Whoops. It Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Oh, we can finally visit her? Good. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. She still looks so sad. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. 
I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Kate's eyes have always looked so sad, and honestly they still look sad, but it sounds like she's doing so much better. Also, look at that. It's that hot dog thing again, squeezing out like mustard man onto his chest. It's really weird. That's not her creation, is it? Did she make that? It's it's kind of creepy. Like hot dog dude seems happy, but it looks like mustard person is not too happy about being squeezed and forced to spray its fluid on the chest of hot dog man. It's kind of creepy. And sort of euphemistic. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. She did make it. Yeah, she did make that character, didn't she? I, I think, because I see the hot dog character and then it says mustard. <laughs> that or she just happens to be drawing it, I don't know. I, I could just leave the hospital right now. Okay, bye, Kate. Good visit. Good talk. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Dear Kate, I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor, and I've never seen such outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. I'm just gonna call bull shit. Fuck Principal Wells. Principal Wells had many opportunities to do stuff. He has not been doing his job properly. I think he just cares about money. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. I know you hate me, and you should, but I only want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? <sighs> Time travel is such a mindfuck. It is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh... Not 
nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max... There's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Wait, that, um... The butterflies in the top right corner, doesn't that mean there's something new to talk about? Or something? I keep forgetting what all the symbols mean. Thanks again Let's for see. visiting me, Max. Or does that mean I can go back and say something different? Um, let's try. Come on. Come on. Kate, it is so... Max. Is it anything new? I saw it. Max. We all... Doesn't seem like it. If no, no, I guess that's not what that symbol means. I need what? All right, let's just do that again. I, I work now. It's time, or maybe it means like a new note in your journal. I don't remember. I we. Come on, come on. I made a mistake by going back. No. Too much to skip. I, I regret I, everything. Okay, we're good. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. I feel like I missed a chance to take a photo. In the hospital with Kate. There must have been something there, right? But I thought I looked at everything. Hmm.
Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot floor teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. But before that, let's wander up into the grass and see if I can find a photo or something. Ooh, this pile of rocks I think is one of them. If I remember correctly. There we go. One photo. For posterity. Alright, what else? Footprints, whale... Something with a nest, it looks like. Skeleton. That skeleton's probably inside of the school, I think. Probably like an anatomy, you know, biology skeleton. Looks like the moon through some bars or something. Well, the bottom right picture is either a moon through some bars, or like... Put like a Pringle, maybe uh, glued to some bars. <laughs> it's one of those two, I think. It's probably a Pringle. It's probably a Pringle. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Who are you talking to? Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way. Thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. You just said that. Also again, who are you talking to? Uh, let me try going back and seeing if I select a different option there with her, maybe she'll actually let me do it? Hey, Brooke. I'm here. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories. That's so ironic that Warren has oh, to what? the drive -in. Her dialogue is just completely broken. It just it got interrupted and stopped for her to say the same line the third time. That's so ironic. It's not like I don't own all the original apes Why is she talking when I'm talking to her, but she's not talking to me? She's ignoring me. This is weird. Um That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. 
We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get a date with him. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, I don't suppose she'll now allow me to fly her drone? Maybe? I might feel better take- Miss Grant finally gave up- Nope. Really? You are- Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. He's so creepy. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Did he just say Miss Gant? It sounded like he said Miss Gant instead of Miss Grant. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Lambert is waiting too. I really want to know what's inside this guy's head. He knows things. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman. And he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... They just cry. Oh. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh, no. 
You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. I don't know if I can help much, but okay. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Photo opportunity, maybe? Because I think I saw something in the photos with squirrel tails. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Exactly. Such as you. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, squirrel paparazzi? Come on, get in there. Do I need to, like, throw more food? Get that food in your belly. Time to go clean up graffiti Hello, for those kids. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Oh, here we go. There we go. That photo looks kind of hideous. I think it's because the grass just looks like a, like, vomit-colored blob. <laughs> like, it's just a vomit-colored splotch on the ground. But at least the squirrels are adorable. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, Maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. Um, yeah, I know a thing or two. <laughs> Do I seriously mention time travel to her? Hmm. Sure. What about wormholes and chaos theory? Like, time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I think that's already happened, unfortunately. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you <laughs> did. So you haven't seen Nathan at all? Miss Grant is awesome. Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. 
You're not the best student here, but you... you might be the wisest. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Oh. No. <laughs> Accessibility upgrade delayed until further notice. Is that because... Oh, great. Chloe stole money from the Handicapped Access Fund. Uh... We're going to hell. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a fucking asshole. Alright, any other photo opportunities here? It's been so long since I've seen you. Daniel. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Don't give up that easy. Just stay away from your sketchbook for a while. You need to keep taking the shot, as Mr. Jefferson says. Stay away from my sketchbook? You don't know me, Max. That's like you staying away from your camera. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. <laughs> that wasn't very helpful. Uh, let's try that again. Hey, Daniel. Hola, Max. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Aww. I want to convince him to go to the party, but honestly, I'd say stay away from all parties for the foreseeable future at Blackwell. Hmm. I'm just gonna say don't go to the party. Screw the Vortex Club. They don't deserve you, Daniel. They don't deserve anything. I mean, what do they actually do for Blackwell, huh? You're right, Max. Screw them. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better. And gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro-holes, but don't fuck with Kate. 
I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Blackwell bro holes. <laughs> I like that. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Alright, I think that we might be it. Crush the Razorbacks. Yeah. Yeah, sports. Sports. How about them sports, huh? Sports. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. I think I saw a meme on the wall there. Yeah, I definitely saw a meme on the wall of the school. Memes. Memes. So lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Alright, so I think we're looking for, obviously just information in general, but I think specifically we're looking for his phone, right? Nathan's phone. Anyway, um, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And to the next episode, I'm going to go break into Nathan's room and see what I can steal. And because it's Nathan's, I'm definitely not going to feel bad about it. <laughs>